Jeff here putting together my Schumacher 150 amp engine starter this is just part of the weekend it has 150 amp boost 55 and amp rapid charge 20 amp fast charge and a 2 amp slow charge it's got a huge amount of settings it has timer mode it has a auto mode where it'll go from your whatever setting to trickle charge storage mode automatically once it senses full charge it could sense volts it can check amps uh, it could check health of the battery or something on there all kinds of stuff one problem with uh these let me tilt it on its side here these little uh metal caps you gotta tap in place how to keep them aligned I saved this little handy dandy gadget from one of my daughter's uh, ride-on toys or something. Came in pretty handy. It fits, they're all like all the same size, it fits right on there. Hammer it in place, works perfect. Now I'm trying uh, pallets, newspaper, well pretty dry pallets. Even though they've been out in the rain, most of the surface was dry where they were sitting under the trees. So they're starting to go pretty good. Uh, hopefully it gets burning down in there a little better. So you can get some uh, coals going here and maybe make a dent in that. It's raining off and on, so we'll see. Tomorrow, hopefully I can get to a yard sale or something where there's a estate sale or something where there's a cast iron box stove so I can heat that thing and uh, possibly move in there sooner it's really going good on its own now finally some good dry seasoned tinder which I really didn't have in abundance before so yeah once that the center burns out and starts dropping down then I'll catch the rest of this stuff uh, hopefully on fire and get that going real good burning so good now my clothes are steaming that have been rained on so now to let that burn down to a safe point you know because I got a tree like just a few feet away yeah brilliant idea I should have cut that one down today The main part of the fire died down and hopefully it can get some of the brush going there's enough coal bed so I gotta be careful you know the ground was steaming from all the intense heat from the main pallets burning so now it's more down to the brush and see if we got enough coals going Uh, now that the rain has uh, eased up, it's uh, fire's getting along a lot better. Got a good bed of coals. Got some little firewood there. You can see the smoke, you know, when it the wind uh, decides to uh, ease up for a second. And that, that firewood pile there was still frozen to the ground. A few pieces of it. Uh, you got another shower, so the showers are getting uh, less frequent so hopefully I can keep making a dent in the pile and in the morning we'll see in the morning will be Saturday the 25th this is what's left of that bonfire from last night as you can see finally burnt up it's still smoking so I'm gonna for safety I'm gonna just shove that these remnants in there and see what happens if it flares up I'll burn some more if not, uh, maybe I'll run the PlayStation a little bit. Because it is damp and cold out here. So probably not going to get much work done. 
the rest of this weekend is just so cold and damp. Yeah, kind of disappointing weekend it rained. I this brush pile I didn't get a whole lot cleared. Basically, uh it was right about here to there I took off. Oh, if I straightened it. Yeah, maybe uh six to eight feet of the brush pile got burnt up, but it took forever. Definitely wood chipper is the way to go for speed unless you can light up the entire pile uh, it's just not worth uh, burning brush unless you can light up the whole pile at once just takes too darn long to do it you know a branch or two at a time and for safety reasons uh, I would just tarp it off you know just cover up the top you know when it gets close to winter then you have a dry spot free of snow and just light it up in the winter. Otherwise, don't uh, don't bother trying to burn brush any other time of year except in the winter. As you can see, you know, especially if you're working close to trees, it, it's just not worth it time-wise. Just get a chipper and chip in or wait till winter and have a large enough clearing and just light it up.